Hi guys, welcome to a brand new edition of Matt's Vlogs. It's currently, ooh, it's about quarter past nine. I'm literally just getting ready for work. Um, I've literally just got to pop to the shops to get some food for tonight's shift. The long nine hours from 10 till seven o'clock in the morning uh, until I have to obviously wait for my relief. Um, but what I wanted to do with tonight's video is sort of just show you what I have to do on a night shift. Um, well, not fully, but try to. <laughs> do some like shots and stuff of me working um, and obviously blanking out the bits that aren't relevant for the vlog um, just to see if anyone enjoys it I doubt I don't know just trying to come up with some ideas I'm just trying to do my bag up at the moment <sighs> you know when you work on night shift you need a lot of food and a lot of drinks because <laughs> there's nothing open obviously after a certain time sometimes I do get take out but tonight luckily I have cooked my dinner so that's my plan, that's uh, me sorted. I just gotta pick up a couple of bits. So what I'll do is I'm gonna obviously walk to work now, it's a little bit early. I'll get in, get my hand over sorted. <coughs> Sorry, not, not COVID, something in the back of my throat. Um, and I'll catch up in probably soon. So I will see you all later. Hello, <laughs> that's a bit of a weird hello. So yeah, so I'm currently walking to work, um, back along the route from this morning, the other day actually, where I got absolutely drenched. Um, it takes me roughly about 15 minutes to walk it, though I have done it in 10 sometimes. If I'm on the bike, I'm done in no time, but uh, obviously it's too cold and I can't be bothered to be cycling. At the moment I'm feeling a bit lazy last week or two. Um, yeah. So, not sure what to expect when I get into work. It could be quiet, it could be busy. You just never know, really. Depends on who's checked in, who's checked out. You know, got our regulars at the moment. So, but keeps you on your toes, which is good. You don't get bored, just sit around and do nothing. There's always stuff to do, you know, but hopefully you'll see that tonight over the course of. Um, nine hours I'm at work but yeah, depends on how well that goes actually <laughs> I can't do it when the guests are obviously walking around doesn't look very good but fingers crossed so the time I start my actual other big jobs you can see what I have to do and get the hotel ready <laughs> anyway I will shortly be at work and I'll catch up with you then sorry for the hand movements onto the camera I'm just being a twit see you in a bit Oh, hi guys. So, I'm at work, I've done my handover. Um, very quiet tonight. Uh, so, I'm currently doing my first firewalk of the night. I have to do uh, 11 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 5 o'clock, and then one at 7 o'clock in the morning. But it does involve quite a bit of checking rooms, making sure nothing's blocking fire exits, uh, alarms are fine um obviously corridors are nice and clear checking linen rooms and then obviously i also have to fill up the linen trolleys as i go as well uh but most of them because we're quite quiet at the moment obviously only letting essential workers in we're uh, actually we don't need filling up every day so makes life a little bit easier but in the height heat of the summer when you're filling up six trolleys to accommodate the 92 rooms that you know, sometimes you can get departures up until about, I don't know, loads, but at the moment we're not running so busy. But yeah, so I have to check quite a few things, fire exits, fire doors. So yeah. Right, I will uh, join you when I get to the linen room. I'll tell you what I have to do. Hey, welcome back. <laughs> I keep saying that. So when I come into the linen rooms, I've got a couple of things I need to do. I've got like, there's still normally two trolleys in each room apart from ground floor. Um, and I have to make sure all the linens on there, they're all clean and they're all filled up. I've got to make sure there's all caddies for all your tea and coffee, uh, toilet rolls. So it's not the most glamorous job, but it's quite simple to do. And I've just got to make sure it's all ready for the morning. Um, but like I said, it's quite quiet at the moment and the trolleys don't actually need filling up that much. They just need a top up, which doesn't take too long. Um, but yeah, this isn't the glamorous life of a night shift receptionist. And it's only... Just coming up to 11 o'clock, so <laughs> eight hours to go. 
but yeah so hopefully course of the night you'll you'll sort of get some sort of explanation what i have to do so i'll catch up with you in a bit so obviously i've done the fire walk to take about five or ten minutes check the trolleys they're absolutely fine um and then i have to go and do the cleaning caddies for the housekeepers so they're all filled up ready to go for the morning just a few bottles to take up to fill up for our um sort of uh i don't know how to describe what the spray is does all the surfaces and stuff for like covid um so we've got the spray that we have to fill up it's like a water-based one um once we spray it down give it a wipe it's all, it kills the virus um so in approximately about five minutes i've got to go upstairs and do all the handrails and lifts so that's another part of the job <laughs> to do but yeah there is plenty to do it keeps me busy i've got my list of jobs that i've obviously written down which i do every night um and may sort of start some jobs for tomorrow to give me something if i do run out of stuff to do but we'll see see what happens um yeah i'll catch up again with you soon i'm sorry i keep saying it but uh i'll see you then look who's back it is now half past 12 in the morning i have just finished the uh, paperwork so basically that means sorting out the guests for tomorrow departures um, making sure everything's done correctly uh, that's pretty much it and then sending an email a welcome email out that the guests get but I didn't need to send any <laughs> it's very quiet but normally uh, sometimes their arrivals don't drop out till a bit later so I'll check again later um, yeah then I've just had something to eat uh, <sighs> That's it, so I've got a quiet 20 minutes now before I have to go and do a fire walk and then plan out the rest of the jobs for the rest of the evening, uh, which isn't that many left to be fair. It's a bit of a quiet night ahead, so I may do some jobs for tomorrow. So, yeah, hopefully, you're enjoying the, the uh, little montage of different videos. Um, if you're not, I won't do this again, <laughs> I won't try and do anything like this. Um, yeah, anyway, I will uh, crack on. Hi, yeah, so basically now I'm um, hoovering and then I'll be doing the mopping. So I'll just uh, let it fill. Mm -hmm. Hi guys, yeah, so I have done the hoovering. Sorry for that really sort of quick little montage. It wasn't even a montage, it was like a 20 second video. Um, <laughs> me hoovering. I didn't want to put too much. I think someone standing around filming themselves hoovering is quite boring to do. Um, so yeah, I'm now gonna, it's just coming up to 25 to four. I've got some mopping to do. So I've got to clean the floors down, get them all ready for the morning. Um, so I've got to do an office area, all out by reception around to our security door up to the rooms. Uh, and then I've got a toilet that needs clean. Obviously I've got to clean down all the touch points in the toilet, give that, give that a clean so that's all ready and sanitized for tomorrow or today obviously, but for, obviously for the rest of the day. Um, and obviously that gets cleaned during the day as well, touch point walks and everything. So it's all good. And then what I'll do uh, just before, I, uh, after the mopping is I've got, obviously I've, once I've done that bit, I can, I've got about 15 minutes to, to just to think, I'm gonna think of an idea of what to do before I finish. I will do a recap right at the end, um, but we'll see what happens. I'm just gonna just go with the flow and try and improvise a little bit. I will show you what I do on a touch point walk going round. Um, obviously not reception area. I'll do it from obviously after that because it's there's points that I don't want to put in this video. Just out of um, whatever the word is, out of just, respect really for the you know for my work um just I'd, I'd rather do the bits that you know i think that guests and you guys don't really get to see what we guys do you know trying to sort of show you what we do to keep the guests safe at the moment with this covid pandemic so yeah cool um so we fill the bucket up get them up and done get the toilet down and then i'll come back to you shortly hopefully uh, with another time update um because obviously now my body is starting to because i'm always i'm on a high when i start and i get to about two three o'clock and it starts to drop and I get tired, tired. I'm just like, I really need my bed now. And then obviously seven o'clock comes, get my relief. And then I'll do, a, uh, I will walk home. Fingers crossed it's light outside because I did promise earlier that I'll try and show you the cruise ships. So we'll, we'll give it a go. But I'll make that sort of uh, decision by about 10 to seven. If it's light enough outside, I'll do it. If not, 
we'll come back another day or you know we'll come, I'll come back another day and do the ships I'll just walk down the front and give it a quick film because some of them are quite close so you, you might enjoy it so yeah I'm gonna go now and I'll see you all very very shortly so hi guys it's now ooh, half past five almost um, it is dragging <laughs> this last hour and a half is gonna be slow uh, I'm on my last fire walk a little bit late delayed because I just sort of the time just flew by as I was just sitting down for five minutes and that's what happened so it's just going to be on the final push to get these jobs done. Uh, I don't know, you might be able to see outside if I swing around. But it's pitch black, you can't see anything. Um, <laughs> which is pretty obvious. Um, yeah, oh, feeling the tiredness. So, yeah, it's not good. I don't know, you might be able to see. I don't know, there you go. That, that light sort of there, that's a cruise ship. There is, there was more, but I, I believe uh, they're mo some of them are moving on back to Southampton and then they come back for, like, obviously I think they go to refuel and uh, change, change over a crew and then they come back. But they do get supplies from Torbay, uh, from Torquay. The, there's like little boats that go in, but that's really not relevant to this vlog at the moment. I think we'll save that for another day. That's an idea I had. Maybe discuss the cruise ships in another vlog. Um, so, yeah. So I'm going to crack on. Um, I'm come back when it's the touch point walk. So I will probably see you, for me, in approximately half an hour. For you, it'll be a simple couple of seconds. So I'll see you all soon. Hi, guys. So this will be literally the last video for today. Um, I'm not going to do one on the way home, it's freezing cold outside and I've just had an accident with the bin bag and anyway, emptying my shredder. Some of it has gone into the car park, I've got as much as I can up. Um, so I'm just going to give, give up for today. So obviously with my touch point walk I have to, every sort of part the guests will touch, door handles uh, like here. This gets washed um, down this side of the door. Uh, not the actual door handles for the doors, um, because you would expect guests, there have been, obviously there's notices up all around the hotel that say uh, you need to wash your hands when leaving and entering the room. And we've got hand sanitizing stations pretty much by the lifts and by our front door as we come in. So we're pretty COVID secure, we've obviously got Markers down on the floor for reception to keep people's distance. We've got a massive poster as you come in. Um, so <laughs> it's not pretty self-explanatory now that everyone knows the rules. Um, so I'm just gonna recap what I've done tonight. So obviously I've come in, I come in at 10, I get a handover, I um, get all the latest updates, any guests, any problems, anything I need to keep an eye on. Uh, and then obviously at 10 o'clock, there you go. I lock the front doors, uh, I get myself set up, I have to count till, get my opera signed in, that's the booking system that we have here. Make sure, if, you know, if there's any arrivals come in, just keep an eye on them for when they come in. If there isn't, got to keep a row for uh, check-ins that come in. And obviously make sure that they're following the guidelines at the moment. Obviously we're open for the vulnerable, the homeless, essential workers, care workers, NHS workers and anyone that needs to be traveling, that has a right to travel, funerals, weddings. Actually, I actually don't think weddings, I think it's just funerals that we're, we can accommodate for, or anyone moving house, because we have had that happen. Um, after that, uh, I do, I do, I can do anything in any order, but I normally do the bins first, get the reception ones done, then go outside, get the outside ones done before the morning, because I don't make too much noise, get them done as quick as possible, and then I come in, fire walk, check, you know, obviously, I saw what I did on a firewall. Uh, I do all the linen rooms, get them all topped up, ready to go. Uh, I'm trying to think now, so many. <laughs> I do the cleaning caddies, get them all ready, all the chemicals and everything. Make sure they're all correctly done. Um, I then go back to reception, get ready to do the end of day process. So that changes the day over on the computer systems. I uh, obviously make sure there's little bits to do on that paperwork and stuff send a welcome email and then it's back upstairs for another fire walk because that's the one o'clock one and between one and two I get the hoovering done get any other bits of cleaning in the office just wipe down surfaces 
uh, and obviously I go back, have something to eat, have a quick sit down, eat, because that's the main thing. Uh, try and keep myself awake, keep myself busy. Uh, that's the main thing, it's keeping yourself busy, because if you don't, you're just gonna, your body's gonna be like, I don't wanna do anything. So I, I just keep myself motivated during the night. Then that's done for, and obviously get up and then three o'clock comes, another fire walk, I go down, back, do that, go back downstairs, I then um, mop the floors, uh, and then obviously clean the toilet, our staff toilet, which is the one that's closed off at the moment. And then I take any of the small teen coffee caddies upstairs, get them done, bash, bish, bash, bosh. I then have, then I go back down, and then at five o'clock I come back upstairs for another fire walk, get that bit done, uh, and then I try and sort of do little menial jobs. I go outside and do a litter pick, empty the shredder, but obviously, like I just said, I've had an accident this morning with the bin bag from the shredder. Some of the paint, or some of the little bits have gone onto the car park. I sweat as much as I could. It's, <laughs> it doesn't look too bad, so it's fine. And then um, I do my last customer journey walk, do another touch point walk. Um, then I'll get the till ready for the morning for the next person to come in for my relief at seven. Do a quick final fire walk for seven o'clock, get down. And that's pretty much it. So it's now half past six. I'm now just about to go downstairs, do the last walk around the corridor, get into the back into the office, doors open or on automatic so people can start coming and going. And anyone that's just a party, make sure they are okay. Um, and that's it really. I haven't got that's it. So I'll put this rag back in the cleaning room, spray as well, and that's it. So I really do hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, I'm sorry it's just not amazing editing skills and it's not been very interesting. I just want to try and document something over the night. I try to. Uh, this is like take one. I might do a part two or do a proper one, but I'll just see how it goes. Um, so thank you very much. Remember, please, guys, stay safe. If you're going out into shops and stuff, wear a face mask. Keep your distance. Wash your hands. Um, I know we hear it from our immense leader, Boris Johnson, all the time. But seriously, um, it's the only way we're going to get through this lockdown and get back to some normality by the summer where we can start enjoying lives again. So I'll see you all very, very soon. I've got another vlog planned, a nice one, but I won't reveal too much soon. Um, so up comes the amazing editing skills that I've done for an outro. Not really, done it on an app on the iPhone. Um, thanks again, and I'll see you all soon. Keep safe.